Joining a religious life is a wonderful decision. Every woman should take time to consider and understand the beautiful process that it is and should be. My name is Sister Mary and I've been a religious sister for 25 years. I want to make sure every woman joining religious life is protected, empowered and free to make her own decisions before and during her time joining a convent. Your choices are your own and you should never feel pressured. Your decisions should be well considered, informed and free from any kind of manipulation or coercion. I want to give you some hints on what joining a convent ought to be like, what rights you have in the process and what red flags to watch out for. Joining religious life is a wonderful experience that should lead you to flourish in a positive, supportive community, not one that leaves you scared, confused or alone. Joining a convent is your decision across the entire process. This process starts from the first thoughts and conversations you have about joining to the moment you take your final vows. If you feel pressured into religious life, this is a red flag. Pressure can be subtle. It can take the form of false friendliness, suggestive language or financial dependence. If at any point you realize consecrated life is not what you are called to, your decision must be respected. Joining religious life means you have many new possibilities like living in a community with fellow sisters, having access to spiritual and professional resources, insights and networks. On the other hand, you give up many others like having children, living an independent life or earning and keeping your own money. Given the huge impact this decision has on your life, you have a right to be informed of all its aspects and implications before taking it. You should read the statutes of the congregation you are going to join, know its history and speak with people whom you can ask critical questions. If you are prevented from asking questions, discussing your decision with others or knowing any details before joining, this is a red flag. If the congregation refuses information and puts pressure on you by asking you to simply trust them, this is another red flag. Religious life is not uniform. There are countless congregations and orders, some more dedicated to a contemplative style of life, some to studies and teaching, some to social work. Make sure you research a variety of communities before you decide which one to join. If you encounter a community that pretends to be better than all others, this is definitely a red flag. Joining a religious life does not erase your individual personality and freedom. Of course, when you start living with a community, you will inevitably be adapting to a different schedule, a particular kind of spirituality and new experiences. However, if your personality changes to a degree that old friends, parents and siblings do not recognize you, this is a red flag. In summary, when you consider entering a religious life, your decisions are your own and ought to be respected. Before joining, research a number of different communities to get as much information as you want in order to make up your mind. After joining, some things in your life will change radically, but your individuality should remain the same. Remember, this is your life a way of life you have freely chosen, and it should be a happy one.